I'm a lawyer and I specialise in advising on employment issues. I'm a partner at Freshfields Brookhouse Derringer, which is a large international law firm. And my job involves working for clients, advising them on employment issues. I enjoyed school. Um, mostly I enjoyed sport, so I was in the school teams. I had a favourite subject, which is geography, and I wanted to travel. When I left school, I had a gap year, and I worked abroad in France and in Sweden. Uh, for um, various families doing au pairing, waitressing, jobs like that. And then I went to university after a year. Then after university I travelled for two years in South America and Africa. My father's a nuclear submarine commander um, and my mother died a long time ago. Uh, and uh, my father's been supportive of my career but has let me make my own choices. My first permanent job was as an assistant to the director of the Royal Geographical Society, dealing with um, uh, screening for expeditions and organising uh, events for photographic exhibitions, things like that. I then went travelling again. <laughs> so um, when I was travelling, I decided I wanted to get a proper job, and that's when I applied for law. And I actually applied for law and then joined a law firm and trained and I've been a lawyer ever since. I think that one of the very um, influential things that I did when I was a junior lawyer was I volunteered for the Free Representation Unit, which is a pro bono organisation which enables people to be represented in employment tribunals. And I did that to train my advocacy skills, but I got interested in the subject matter. So although I trained as a general commercial litigator, that experience at the Free Representation Unit made me become an employment specialist. I like to be successful at what I do. And I think the greatest feeling you have at work is where you've done a big, big job and you've all worked really hard and you sort of, you really come together as a team. It's very satisfying. I think there are two barriers which probably held me back. Um, Firstly, I'm quite shy, so I had to overcome that. And secondly, I had a fear of public speaking, which I have overcome by doing it. So my recommendation would be to do the things that you're frightened of and then they don't frighten you anymore. I'm a mother, I have five, five children, and I have a quite a big job, and I have a pretty good life, to be honest. Um, the things that go wrong are when I work too hard, and when I work too hard and too many hours, I forget everything else that I should be doing to keep myself fit and healthy. So, for example, fitting in running or fitting in, you know, doing something for pure pleasure outside work, like going to the theatre, is very difficult when you're very, very busy. But yeah, on the whole, I think I've done quite well. I think it's easier now because my children are older. When they were younger, it was more difficult and I used to get quite tired. But I think that, yeah, I think I've got a pretty good balance. I think I'm very lucky, I've got a nice job, I enjoy it and I've got a great family, yeah I'm very lucky.